G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel once again. So in the last week or so, you can see that I've been pumping out videos. In particular, I've made a couple of tier maker videos. Today, I'm gonna do something similar, but not the same. I'm gonna be entering the AFL's 22 under 22 competition. Essentially, it's a competition run by the AFL Players Association where you get to pick 22 players under 22 to make your side. So it's pretty simple. In this video, I'm gonna take you through my selection process as I field my team of 22. Now, as you can see, it is pretty straightforward. They basically give you a drop down menu in each position of players that you can select. To start off, I will probably start with my key position players. In terms of key position backs on that list, I think Harris Andrews is probably the clear favorite. He's definitely the best performed key back available on that list. And for the other one, you're pretty much choosing between Sam Taylor, Weedering, or I guess Dan Houston is a bit undersized. I'm probably gonna go with the former number one pick, Jacob Weedering. For the sake of balance though, I'll probably pick Houston as my sort of third tall defender. Moving down the ground, uh, let's have a look at the ruck position who we got here. So we basically only have a choice of Tim English and Harry Mackay. That's a bit rubbish in my opinion. As much as I don't like to give Fremantle credit, Sean Darcy should definitely be in the list. That being said, even if he was available, I'd probably go with Tim English because I'm going to pick Harry Mackay as a key forward. Now let's have a look at who else you can pick as another key forward. So you've got Hipwood and uh, Norton by the looks. They're probably both gonna make my side. I'm gonna have Aaron Norton as a key forward. I think he could be an absolutely unreal player one day. And then as a third tall, because he's a bit skinnier, kind of takes the pressure off. Hipwood can take one of the pockets. Now let's move back up into the midfield and see who we've got available. So I'm just gonna pick the three best midfielders that I see in the starting positions. Who we got here on the list? Okay, Clayton Oliver comes to mind as being probably one of the best performers there. McCluggage, Warpole. Dunkley, Taranto. I'm going to go with uh, probably Tim Taranto as probably my favorite from that list. Clayton Oliver has got to be another starter. And for me, I'll have a genuine on baller in James Warple starting on the field. Now, in the wing positions, I will probably let's have a look who are some of the outside players. McCluggage probably comes to mind. Um, Fiorini's up there. It's a tough one balancing who the best performed with who do you think is going to be the best. I think in this, I'm going to pick who's the best performed and Hugh McCluggage as an outside player is a good choice for one of those wings. And on the other wing, maybe Josh Dunkley. He's having an unreal season. It's hard to believe that the Swans gave up an opportunity to draft him as a father-son and the Bulldogs got him. Um, I bet they regret that choice now. So let's just have a quick reflection upon the midfield. You've got Tim English tapping it down to Warple, Taranto and Oliver. McCluggage and Dunkley operate on the wings. And honestly, it's quite impressive how important all of those players are. Maybe not so much English just yet, but all these midfielders are to their team. Now let's just take another look. We've got three defensive positions still yet to fill. So I'm probably just gonna choose sort of rebounding medium types. So let's have a look. Witherden, Fritch, Hardwick, Mills, Dawson, Taylor, Stack, Malera. Okay, probably gonna have Witherden. He's probably been one of the best performed uh, for his age in that position. He's been good since day one, excellent ball user. I think for me, he definitely operates well out of that back pocket. So on the two flanks, I probably want a bit of rebounding ability. The two names are probably Miller, you'd have to say. He's going to be, well, he's got a lot of potential. He gets talked up as a potential superstar. So I'd probably have him on that flank, which means there's one spot left. Fritch, Hardwick, Mills, Dawson, Taylor, Stack. I really like Sam Taylor, but I just don't think I can squeeze him into this side. I'm going to go with Sydney Stack, and it's a testament to him that he makes this side despite being a first-year player. I think if this team was competing tomorrow, he'd be the best choice. He's probably one of the most ready-made, which is incredible considering he, as I said, is a first-year player. All right, so let's have a reflect on that back line. You got Andrews and Weedering operating out of the key position post, Dan Houston in the back pocket, and then you got Witherden, Miller, and Stack in the other flank and pocket position. So I'm pretty happy with that back line, uh, and that is ably supported by a very strong midfield there. 
Finally, let's move down to the forward line. So we've got Mackay and Norton and Hipwood, three very good young key forwards. Personally, my favorite is Norton out of the three, but anyway, we won't get too bogged down in that. Um, so we are going to pick maybe two mediums and a, and a small. I'm not too sure. I actually haven't thought about it that much just yet. So you got Brent Daniels, Zerha, Rosie, Brian Myers, Jay Gresham, Simpkin, Liam Ryan, and Shay Bolton. Shy Bolton. I forget where he goes. I think it's Shy. Good player. Now, there is so much talent on that list, but I'm going to try and have to reward the players who have been the best performed. I'm going to go Liam Ryan. I think he he's come on absolute leaps and bounds this year. I think he's twice the player he was last year. Um, and then in the other two positions, probably Jade Gresham is the next one for me. Um, Gets talked up a lot. He is definitely a great player, great goal sneak. He's probably one of St. Kilda's best players already, so that is a bit of a no-brainer for me on that flank. And in that final position, oh, there's so much talent there, but I think I'm going to go with Connor Rosie. He's a chance to win the Rising Star this year, and I think if his team gets on top, in this hypothetical game of under-22s, if his team gets on top, he could seriously hit the scoreboard. A very damaging player. Definitely. All right, guys. Now, we, I'll just reflect on that forward line before I move down. Um, Liam Ryan, Jade Gresham, and Connor Rosie is a lot of goal scoring, uh, goal scoring power to support Mackay, Norton, and Hipwood. So they're going to be strong in the air and when the ball hits the ground. And then Rosie's kind of like your medium, medium lead-up option. So very happy with that forward line there. So in the defense, sorry, in the interchange rather, you've got to pick one defender, two midfielders, and a forward. So you're not picking a second ruck, not that you really have a choice with no Sean Darcy, but uh, anyway, all right, we'll start with the defender. So basically, who is the best defender on this list? I like them all, honestly. Um, I'm not going to pick Sam Taylor for balance, uh, and he, he probably hasn't performed as well as some of the other guys on this list anyway, but... Um, I think he's going to be a good long-term player. Probably Callum Mills, the former Rising Star player, I'm going to have as my interchange defender. You've got two midfielders here. Let's have a look. I'm just going to pick the two best so far. Now, again, I'm going to have to go with another first-year player and pick Sam Walsh. It's ridiculous the impact he's having as an 18-year-old. But again, I'd have to back him. If the game was played tomorrow, I'd back him to be one of the best performers. Um, so that leaves one more midfield spot. McGrath, Smith, Fiorini, Parrish, Darcy Tucker. An interesting choice. Jacob Hopper, Jared Berry, Jordan Clark, Florent, Petrevsky, Seaton, and Fisher. Now, for me, there's a clear choice. I'm going to go with Jacob Hopper, but it agonized, uh, well, I agonized over not picking Jared Berry or Florent. I'm a big fan of both of those players. But Jacob Hopper is probably the most important to his team currently. Maybe closely followed by Barry, but um, yeah, I think Hopper is the best player out of that list currently available. All right, so in the final position, we have a forward. Brent Daniels, Cameron Zerha, Brian Myers, Jai Simpkin, Shea Bolton. I think I'm going to go have to go with the North boy, Jai Simpkin, here because of, A, his ability as a forward, but I think he can roll through the midfield as well. I think he had a game this year where he averaged, well, sorry, where he had 36 possessions. So if you've got a forward that can rotate through the guts like that, is an inside-outside option, probably mostly outside, but I think for team balance and, you know, overall talent, he is the best choice. All right, guys, so that is my team. Thank you for joining me on this selection journey. If you guys want to enter the competition, um, it says if your team matches the final fan voted 22 under 22, you could win the ultimate prize pack. I don't know what that means. Maybe grand final tickets. That would be sick because I'm an Eagles fan and we're a chance to make it this year. But I'll leave the link in the description uh, if you guys want to enter too. Also, I just remembered I need to give a shout out to the pair who was the one who sent me this link to do in a video. So if you haven't heard of The Pair, which I'm sure you have, make sure you go check out his channel and subscribe. For now guys though, that is the end of the video. Like I said in a previous video, we're getting very close to doing our first live stream. So bear with us on the announcement for that on Instagram. If there's any like tier makers or things like this that you want me to do, just send it to me on either the Discord group or the um, Instagram DMs, whatever, um, Facebook. You can reach me in a number of different ways. I'll pick some of the best ones once and uh, if it's really footy related and quite analytical like this then I'll do it on true footy 
But if it is more like an opinion one, like what's your favorite logo? I'm probably gonna do that on my personal channel, Jesse Thomas. If you haven't checked out, you should. Speaking of which, I haven't uploaded on that for a little while since before I went to Europe. So if you are subscribed to that or want to subscribe to that, do it. Keep the faith because I'm gonna be vlogging West Coast and Adelaide this weekend. And I'm gonna put that on the Jesse Thomas YouTube channel. Also one last little announcement. You may have noticed we are approaching 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So first of all, thanks to everyone who has subscribed and has stayed subscribed because I really love doing this YouTube stuff. As a 5K special, I'm gonna be doing a podcast, uh, an Ask Me Anything podcast on my other channel. The point of this is where I can answer questions about literally anything. You can ask me questions about myself and I don't know if it will really go on the True Footy YouTube channel theme, but I will put it on the Jesse Thomas channel and I'll let you guys know when it is up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon on the True Footy YouTube channel. Go Eagles.